tournament. So I think it's a combination of all that. It's kind of unfortunate because it wasn't always that way. I feel like the advent of that sort of uh, table facade and demeanor has been in the last three years predominantly. Uh, I can remember a time a decade back where there was many colorful characters who would be involved in No Limit tournaments. And Berto Brennis running around with his jester hat and his shark yeah. is coming. You don't get a whole lot of that. Phil Locke, when he was up to his hijinks, as we see Hennigan three-betting from the big blind. Jack Tenoff, I think a hand that <clears throat> most people wouldn't three-bet in that spot. They would elect to call. Well, he's not but most people, pal. Wow. Queen, nine, five. A pair and a flush draw for Ms. Rocky, an open-ended straight draw for Hennigan with one and a half million I mean, in the middle. Uh, my guess is in this being three-bet, <clears throat> this is going in uh, on the flop or the turn. And, uh, you know, it's we're probably going to have a champion and his name is probably going to be the grinder and it'll be his third and uh wow that's that's impressive there's no path to escape for hennigan's jack 10 other than getting there i mean maybe if grinder shoves right now shoves he could fold but if if he just flats or or makes a, a like a 2 million yeah, I mean, it's pretty, yeah. Oh, boy. Grinder made a 2 million. Hennigan snaps says all in. Grinder says call, and he's got the heart draw with the pair of nines up against the open ender. I'm in the lead. To the turn we go. Is that it? Is it iced? It is! Michael Mizraki makes the hard flush no matter what hits the river. John Hennigan cannot win. And the $50,000 Poker Players Championship has its first ever three-time champion.